Hello everyone, welcome back to the to the investors of gaming channel. I had a sort of not epiphany, but something I finally decided I could figure out a, a better way to discuss regarding the recent console launches for the PS5 and for the Series X. And mostly that has to deal with scalpers. Uh, scalpers and bots have more or less been the bane of our existence um, during these launches. Uh, there's something that's plagued other markets, such as the shoe market. Uh, there, it's particularly bad as well. Uh, more or less, what the scalpers do is they have bot networks and they have groups where uh, they have sort of these very reliable connections that allow them to know when certain places get stock, when they're stocked, when they're going to be stocked before usually the announcement is made public. And uh, they usually have a network of bots in addition to hundreds of people usually in these groups, sometimes thousands, that are capable of just logging on all at the same time and grabbing up all the consoles uh, or shoes, if that's your thing. Uh, it happens quite frequently with those as well. So uh, I kind of made a little chart so that we can talk poorly about scalpers, in addition to understanding why they're so terrible. So typically what you see in the economy is the supply and demand curve very basic 101 economics right so in your typical economics this is what you see right the demand for a console is very high but the supply almost never reaches the demand at least in uh, current iterations modern times then slowly over time as the demand slightly increases the supply catches up as more and more people adopt, so the demand from day one buyers from the hardcore fan base kind of starts to die down. And then once you hit this point here, which is the supply has finally reached over the demand, usually the demand drops pretty significantly. And the supply, usually, this is the sweet point. This is where like most people who are making products are really, really happy because they're they have a little bit more supply than demand. They're confident that they can keep shipping these things out and they're making a lot of money at this point this is like the, you know the sweet spot is kind of like that you want to hit as close to perfect center supply demand like as you can but typically this is kind of how it goes so uh, as time goes on you get this sort of curvature and the supply meets the demand and then as demand tapers off the supply increases until about this point and as the supplies decrease, as the manufacturing, this is when manufacturing slows down. So they're not manufacturing as many once they've kind of hit this peak point here. And they start to go down until this point where the demand is so low and their supply is, well, it's more like here. I should have put the, the blurb here. We're like, they have supply, right? Uh, and they're running low on supply so they stop manufacturing it the demand's not too high and then they sell out the rest of the consoles ignore these dots here here how about this we just do this right oh there we go we'll just do this right all right ignore these right and this is kind of well here how about this we'll do this okay better all right better oh not what i wanted to do so it's more like at this point here is where they kind of stop manufacturing and then all the way down here is where you see collectors. The supply is basically neg super negative because they're not making it anymore and the only way to buy it is through third parties, right? So the difference is this is how it typically will go, right? But thanks to our good friends the scalpers this is what happens right so demand for the console is very high supply very low don't have enough supply to meet demand then it actually goes down a little bit because not only is there not enough supply to meet demand now you have assholes buying the supply that you do have available to give to people and it's no longer getting to them so it's just sitting in some asshole's warehouse, charging you double, triple, whatever the hell they feel like charging you for something that is typically five ninety nine or whatever. I've seen PS4 consoles 
the PS5s, I'm sorry, go for like anywhere between 900 and 1,000 typically for uh, the disc-based one. And even for the disc list, I've seen them as high as like 900. So it's like the demand is still very high, but the supply is basically non-existent because not only are they not manufacturing enough, they're not manufacturing enough to out supply the scalpers. So the only market left is the scalpers. So you either wait for supply to hit here or you buy from a scalper. And because of the scalpers, demand decreases dramatically because you can't buy it anywhere and most people are not going to buy it for two times, one and a half to two times the market cost, which is already like designed for them to profit off of. So it's already less than what it costs to make because that's how business works, right? So then as the supply increases, we kind of hit this point here where the scalpers more or less become irrelevant because the supply is meet, almost meeting the demand and the demand increases because now you have actual supply to meet your demand. Then once it crosses this threshold, it starts to become more in line with what we traditionally see and it kind of eventually meets up and then you know we go back to where we were before. But my point is, is that basically scalpers contribute nothing to uh, the one in the economy, two to, to uh, the market of games and, and pretty much in any market. All they do are artificially inflating the prices by creating um, a vacuum with the supply. So their demand is there for the products. They're manufacturing products to more or less meet that demand but then you just have scalpers just buying them up and like it from every angle it doesn't make any sense for a company because here's the thing they raise the prices to make profit then they raise the prices they have to raise the price even higher than what they want to make the profit off of because they have to pay the retailers the retailers take a cut of whatever they're selling or more accurately the retailers raise the price of the product to make their share of what the product is. So there's two inflations of the cost already. Then you have a scalper and the scalper increases that cost even higher, like significantly. For what? Because you can't buy one. That's it. They bought them. Where are you going to go? You got nowhere to go. I'm the only pe we're the only people who have them now. And if we're the only people who have them, what are you going to do about it? You're going to wait? All your friends got a PS5. They're begging. They want you to play PS5. Just saying. 800, 900 bucks. You got a PS5. Or, you know, you could wait and not be cool. Whatever. And they just play on that FOMO, the fear of missing out, really hard. And it's just kind of pathetic, in my opinion. Like, scalpers just don't contribute anything positive. If anything, they're sucking up supply for consumers. And then on top of that, they're artificially inflating the price even higher. For what? Because they bought bots. Cool. And obviously this is significantly worsened because of coronavirus and because specifically Sony decided that they're not going to sell consoles in store for whatever reason. So I, like, I kind of get it because you want to discourage people from going outside, but at the same point, like all that's done is give the scalpers more consoles to take. There's, there's so many articles. I think it was the guardian that had a pretty good article regarding scalpers and like a scalping network, a group, um, uh, there's whole businesses set around just scalping. They, that's all they do. All they do is buy products to artificially increase the price make you charge more, pay more for them, charge you more for them. And then they resell it to you and that's it. That's their whole gimmick. Thankfully, PS fives and Xbox series X and S are not limited, um, devices. So yes, it's going to be very difficult for you to get one now. Yes. It will likely be very difficult for you to get one before 21, 21 and likely be pretty difficult up until about spring, maybe summer. Considering coronavirus, considering uh, the supply chain, considering the demand, considering the holidays, considering economic factors, all these things, 
And then on top of that, you can't buy them physically. So scalpers are just going to ch- keep trying to do this because this is their livelihood. This is how now they make money. They're just going to keep gobbling it up until they're sitting on a whole pile of them and they either sell through them or they take a huge loss. So please, like I get it. You you want to like be part of the Cool Kids Club. I get it. I want a PS5 real bad. I get it. But I'm not paying $900 because some jackass decided to buy 400 of them. You know? I'm not doing that. What you do with your money is up to you. But I implore you. Save the four or $500. You could literally buy another console with that. You could literally buy the competing console with that. There's no point in you wasting your money like that. Do not give these assholes any money. Okay? Well, that's my soapbox. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.